what's up guys we're going to be doing another campsite review uh, today we're going to be heading to river nook campgrounds uh, it's pretty much in central california about three hours away from us in socal uh, we have a pretty big group today it's going to be about uh, 22 to 25 people uh, we're taking up about three spots one's a rv spot and the other two spots are uh, supposedly right uh, on the riverfront so that's pretty nice um, we're gonna be specifically at Kernville and we're gonna be uh, right on the river of the uh, Kern River and so we're pretty much gonna check it out from what review says uh, it seems like it's a pretty updated campsite there's some free hot showers so that'll be nice uh, we'll check out some amenities there's some great uh, fishing supposedly but um, I'm not gonna be fishing I forgot my stuff um, anyways, we'll check it out. We'll share this uh, site with you guys and um, we'll catch you guys in a bit. So this is our setup right here. That's my foreigner. Uh, this is uh, three tents that we have stacked next to each other. The sites were a bit small, but we of course have two sites and we just kind of configured it so that it's comfortable for our family. So this is our uh, campsite. And we're pretty much walking distance to the Kern River. These are some of the uh, riverfront sites, pretty cool. Literally walking distance to the uh, actual lake. Our site it's uh, pretty cool because it's covered lots of shade there are a good amount of bugs that come out during the evening but they do disappear as it gets towards the uh, later evening and there is a shower hot shower available which is uh, walking distance a couple minutes from our site Restrooms are pretty clean, a couple of urinals, hot shower. One of the most important things, working hot water. So this is near the riverfront area on the right hand side of the site. Um, this is pretty much the walkway to the Kern River, and it's a short walk. Um, the water is pretty nice here. It, there are some still areas here, but for the most part, the water is nice and enjoyable to get in. Uh, as you can see, everyone's having a great time. She's so cute. She's so good. Look at that! Come here! Oh, So we're cooking up some green peppers some, for some Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak is a great idea for a big group of people. It's easy to cook. We cook it on a black stone. Highly recommend it. Kids will love it. Super easy once again to make. That's our skewers, lamb skewers. We love this. It has some uh, great flavors to it. We've got the whole gang eating, prepping, making a huge meal, cooking some veggies barbecuing some short ribs, and of course, our skewers. And what's camping without s'mores? All right, guys, so that concludes our two day, two night stay over at River Nook Campgrounds. Uh, I wanted to do a quick review in regards to the campground so you guys know what to expect in, in case you guys are out in that area and this would be an option for you guys uh, so first and foremost I'm just gonna jump in and talk about the things that 
uh, we didn't like or some of the things that could be improved on. Um, right off the bat, some of the things that I, I personally didn't like was uh, specifically for our campsite, we felt that it was a bit far from the restrooms. Uh, there wasn't a closer option for us. So uh, my dad, my father is a lot older and he definitely wakes up to hit the restroom early in the morning and that was a pretty far and long walk for him. So that I would love it if they had another set of restrooms for uh, the size of venue that they had. So definitely restroom is one. The uh, other improvement that I would say that they would have is, what is it babe? I forgot, I'm gonna cut back into the video. Uh, the space. Okay. So the, so the second thing that we felt uh, needed improvement on was the space. Um, it was pretty tight overall. Um, our neighbor was not there most of the time. They did have another site, so that helped out. But if they were there throughout the, the session, but if they were there throughout the time that we were there, um, it would have seemed very, very tight. Um, it also seemed crowded because everything was a lot closer together. Um, so that was the second thing that I felt could have been improved on. Oh yeah. Uh, third was the uh, electricity and the water spigot. So most campsites don't come with electricity, but this one does have electricity, but it's just at random sites. So we really didn't know which one had it or not. And basically it was hit or miss. The, we didn't have electricity there or a uh, water spigot. So the water spigot was about three sites down. There was also one across from us. Um, you know, I'm glad it did have water. I'm not complaining about that, but it, it would be nice if every site had water. That's just some improvement that um, I could have. But again, nonetheless, it was still there and uh, we are grateful for that. Um, let's see, what Likes. else did? Huh? Likes, what we liked about it. Okay. So some of the things that we liked about the campsite, first and foremost was location. Um, we were just walking distance from the Kern River, which is really, really nice. Um, both sides have have uh, swimming pockets for you to kind of chill and lounge at all day. So that was really nice about that spot. It also had some uh, clean restrooms with uh, hot water, sure. but, it's, but it is during a specific time. So you want to make sure that you're showering before eight o'clock because they do turn it off and that's for safety measures. Um, so that's some of the things I did like about that. Um, other than that, um, they did have great service as well. So uh, our my mom, our other party arrived a little later throughout the night, and they went ahead and guided them through to our spot. So that was really nice because it was obviously really dark. Um, they also we also didn't bring wood there, so we were able to purchase wood from them. Uh, we just stopped one of the random guys there and he actually delivered the wood to us and charged it to the cart that was on file. So that was really nice about that location. Um, yeah, and the other thing that was really good about this area was that there was a good amount of service going by, not necessarily security, but they had uh, individuals driving around, uh, you know, constantly checking people for driving above the five mile. Uh, per hour range and also um, checking kids that were really loud or ri riding without lights without helmets just zooming through the campsites um, that was stopped several times so you know they did their job they they went by checked on us made sure everything was good very friendly staff um, overall great experience with them uh, we would definitely come back uh, we also saw that Oh, they also hosted events, so we saw a wedding there that was really nice. Um, so it, yeah, it can definitely hold a lot of people. We had uh, an RV site, a partial hookup RV site, and two campsites in total. The RV site uh, was uh, very scarce, so there's definitely a lot of demand there. If you're gonna, if you have an RV, you might have to book a lot in advance. Uh, we were able to secure one spot, but it was right at the beginning of the gate, right by the restroom. So definitely not the best location. Uh, the, the, and it was very, very noisy. Um, the other location, which was the waterfront, it had partial hookups, but nonetheless, it was 
riverfront so very nice walking distance to the river but again very very crowded in between and the campsites that we were at was just right underneath the uh, riverfront properties and again very close together but you know it was nice and shaded that was the main thing uh, you know you can definitely uh, you can definitely um, uh, find yourself a good nice shaded spot and the floors were very very leveled and even so you didn't really have to uh, search too hard for that good campsite spot uh, there was plenty available we were able to set up a very nice setup put the benches together the there were fire rings available there's a general convenience store there that you can uh, purchase you know, firewood, s'mores, um, anything that you may need, they're gonna have it there. Overall, good experience. We would definitely come back uh, next year or so. It, it was great for our family of 25 uh, to walk through the Kern River. So yeah, I'll go ahead and drop a link below to the exact location that we were at and uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.